happy Mother's Day, everyone. I love you, Mommy. <laughs> Look familiar? I love this mug. My mother used to read me Eloise stories when I was younger. She's, she's just a fantastic character. And Kay Thompson is truly an inspiration, the writer of Eloise. So for any women that would like inspiration, Today, what we're gonna be doing is making soft boiled eggs. And every time I make them, I think of my mom and it makes me very happy. <laughs> so to honor all of us that can't be with our mothers, I'm gonna show you how to make soft boiled eggs. So let's get started. The first step is boiling water. It takes some time to boil. So I've had it going for quite some time. I'm gonna to have to do this video slightly differently than I would normally because of the nature of cooking and filming at the same time. So you take your eggs. So once you put your eggs in the boiling water, you're gonna to wanna to set a timer. And it depends on how soft you want your soft boiled eggs. Three minutes, five minutes, seven minutes. I like to get it about four minutes because you need a little time for the egg to cool off and the egg's gonna cook a little bit while it cools off. And I'm gonna show you how to scoop the soft boiled egg out of the shell. Now I'm toasting some bread because my mother would have a little piece of toast on the side. All right, my timer just went off. So now I'm gonna take the eggs out of the boiling water and I'm gonna run them under cold water so I can shell out the soft boiled egg. Don't forget to turn the burner off. Don't forget about your toast. Now, I don't recommend doing that with your hands like I did, but I'm an adult, so I can do that. For anyone who is not an adult, do not touch the stove. Now, this is a time sensitive thing, so we need to crack our eggs, cool them down, and scoop them out. I just don't want my toast to burn, so I'm gonna turn that down. Now the key is to be very gentle because you're gonna scoop it in here and then you're gonna wrap it around and then you're gonna rinse it off. Eat it and I'm very excited. The eggs were cooked perfectly and that's always the key. It's, it's you, They can be a little underdone, they can be a little overdone. I would prefer it underdone because overdone they're just, it, then it doesn't like soak up any of the bread and it's not as good. All right, let's taste it. I think it's gonna be really good. Oh my God. My mother also taught me not to chew with my mouth full <laughs> or talk while I'm eating and I did both of those things. <laughs> but this is really good. I recommend you making this at home because it's just delicious. My mom would always say this is the French way of eating and she wasn't wrong. This is really good. I'm 
turning into Wendy Williams. <laughs> I love Wendy though. She's great. She's so funny and very real. That's what's up. One of my favorite memories of my mother is I would wake up very early in the morning and I would run downstairs. And at the time, my mother used to do yoga every morning. And at the end of her practice, she would stand on her head. And so I would run down the stairs. <laughs> and I would be like, hello. <laughs> and she'd be like, hello. <laughs> and that's how I used to greet my mother in the morning. I think that's why I have a strong connection to source and, and spirit because of my mother. It's important. It's important to have a connection with yourself. So happy Mother's Day. I love you, Mommy. I'm sorry that I can't be down there. It's out of my control. Everyone, wish your mothers a happy Mother's Day. If your mother is no longer with us, send her love and light. She's with you inside.